Hello everyone, how you doing? Stelios, Tottenham away, hope you're well. It's Monday. You might be watching this video on Tuesday because it takes forever for me to upload videos. My internet is terrible, but okay. Um, our first pre-season game will be tomorrow. If you're watching this on Tuesday, then the pre-season game is probably happening already. We're going to be doing a watch along for every single pre-season game and all the games in August in the Premier League on Tottenham away. We've uploaded all the streams ready to go live uh, on our channel, so make sure you tune in and watch the watch alongs. Look, I'm going to say it now before anyone else dares to uh, say, but you never said that. I'm saying it now. I'm not optimistic. I'm not super excited, but I'm not pessimistic and I'm not uh, down and out. Until the 1st of September, when the transfer window is officially shut, only then can I really assess the squad and tell you exactly what I think. As it stands now, I'm underwhelmed. As a priority, we should have got centre-backs. To not bring in minimum one centre-back before going on a pre-season tour, that says to me the culture is still wrong, nothing's changed, it's all an illusion, and once again, this ownership has failed to prepare a manager in a way that he can best go about his business in the football calendar. We, we, we just seem to set ourselves up for failure. Pre-season is important because one, fitness, two, Bonding, three, establish the goals and the targets for the season. And number four, this is where bonds and partnerships are formed. What's the new centre-back pairing going to be like? What's the wing-back and winger relationship going to be like? Who, who are going to be the two, three or four midfielders? Is it two, one or three up front? What's that relationship like? This is a time to start learning to develop partnerships and bonds on the field of play for the shape and the formation that we're going to play this season. But by not bringing in the centre-backs, how have we done that? The centre-backs aren't ready. They haven't had a chance to bond, to settle in, to get a feel for the club, a feel for the other players, the manager, the coaching team. We aren't prepared properly. Again, again. And I keep hearing, I keep hearing culture change. A new era. Where? Where is it? The first thing we should have done is to fix that defence, man. And we haven't. It's a cardinal sin. Every single Spurs fan, Levy in, Levy out, moderate, wherever you're at. Every single Spurs fan said that defence needs to be fixed. For that to not have been the priority, I'm never going to change the way I am. I'm never going to change who I am when it comes to this club. I'm Levy out. I'm Enoch out. I want them gone. I'm not changing my stance on it because I haven't seen a change that is worthwhile in me feeling, yeah, things are changing at the club. The goalkeeper, I think, will be a good signing. Madison, we all agree, is a good signing. Solomon, if he costs £5 million or £10 million, pounds, we're not buying him. He's only at the club because he's free. He's just another Lucas Mora. Energy, can beat a player, scores the odd goal, but in general, no end product. Exactly what Lucas Mora was. Exactly what Lucas Moura did at Spurs. Popped up with a couple of big games, but in general, didn't do much and lacked an end product. Same as Solomon. We've replaced Moura with another Moura. I can't get excited by that, I'm sorry. Maybe you can. Look, Postacoglu, I hope he succeeds. I always, always stick by the managers. I've never wanted a manager out. Because I understand it's not the manager's fault at Spurs. There's too much evidence, too many years of failure for me to now ever think, oh, it's on the manager. No, no. If we keep a manager for three years and we back him, properly back him with the players he wants every single summer, then I'll say it's the manager now. But we've never done that. We nearly did it with Poch, then we stopped buying players. We didn't do it with Conte and Mourinho because we sacked him after 15 months. Stellini was a joke. Mason is a, is a bigger joke. So unless, Poch, unless Postacoglu sorry, is here for three years and he's backed every summer, then there is no change. And getting excited is just a happy clapper, mediocrity accepting, low standard mentality of our fan base. And that is what needs to change. And that's why I'm not going to see me change. And I'll be right every single year. Every year I'm right about 
us not winning trophies. Because we're not prepared. We're not set up for success. I hope Ange brings us good football so we can be entertained. And I hope Ange forces cultural change at the top of his club. But he doesn't seem to me that he's the kind of guy that's going to force change at the top. And that's what's needed. Let's see how we go. Fingers crossed as always. Pre-season won't tell us much because it's more about fitness and uh, trying to implement some fundamentals of a new way of playing under Postacoglu. But I stand by what I say. On the 1st of September, that's when I'll really judge where we're at. And I hope, I really, really do hope that we sort out this defence before the season starts. We've got Brentford away, which is always a tough game for us. Man United at home is never easy. We have got to get this defence sorted before then. And that means now, right this second, now, so that they can bed in and develop the relationships on the pitch to formulate a successful team. Guys, I wish you all the best. I had to get this one off my chest because I, I can't buy into all this happy clapper nonsense. Posta Coglu's a nice guy. Poch was a nice guy. Mason, he's a nice guy. We want someone that's going to force cultural change. And that means the people upstairs, they're the ones that need to be told. And if the manager can't do it, no one can. Because the fans aren't going to do it. We've absolutely... <laughs> we've had many opportunities to do it and we've chosen not to take it. So um, let's see where we go. Anyway, looking forward to the watch along tomorrow. Make sure you tune in. Um, we'll be going live at 10.30am Tuesday. Stay Tottenham.